Well, hello, I'm Bethwin, this is Rochelle. Hi. And uh, hi to all of our real life congregation and, and community and family. Uh, we just wanted to encourage you uh, in this season that we find ourselves in from a scripture in 1 Peter chapter 3. It says, summing up, be agreeable, be sympathetic, be loving, be compassionate, be humble. That goes for all of you. No exceptions, no retaliation, no sharp-tongued sarcasm. Instead, bless. That's your job to bless. You'll be a blessing and you'll also get a blessing. And uh, so, Rochelle, in this season, how do you see us being a blessing to our family, our neighbourhood um, in this difficult Great time? Great question. And that's interesting in that version of the message, isn't it? No sharp tongue and sarcasm. I know. Whoa, you know, that's yes. difficult. It's tricky. <laughs> it's tricky. Yes. Especially when you're kept indoors all the time. Yes. You've got the kids home from school and for a lot of the girls working from home as well. Yes. Uh, and then having to cook dinner, hold down the job and look after the kids, yes. keep them occupied. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be tricky times. And often women yeah. are kind of carry the weight of an atmosphere within their homes. Absolutely. What do they say? Happy wife, happy life. That's right. Yep, that's right. <laughs> and so what we, we want to encourage you to do is to not be too hard on yourself in this time. You know, if things get a little bit tense and it gets a bit, a bit challenging at home, yeah. um, just cut yourself some slack because all of us are giving it our best shot yeah. to manage our worlds yeah. um, and we're not alone. Lots, no. of, lots of women um, are in the same boat. There's lots of resources that you can get to help you. Yeah. And what else, Michelle? Well, I reckon don't try too hard to, you know, don't worry about the kids getting educated at this moment in time. Pop a movie on the telly. Get, uh, put something on Netflix or something. Don't stress too much that they're missing school and, you know, oh, they're going to lose their education. Don't worry about that. Just, just have a good time. Pull out a game of Monopoly. That'll keep you going for a few days. Absolutely. Monopoly goes on and on forever, doesn't it? And uh, pull out a few games and uh, just enjoy your children and try to take make this some quality time that you can spend together. Bake a few cakes and things like that if you can. Absolutely. You know, just have a good time. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sometimes we put such unrealistic expectations on ourselves as women. And this is a time to be kind to yourself and uh, just manage with all of the different changes that have happened in your world. And don't forget um, to encourage another lady along the way. Send a text, send a, send a funny, funny story um, and just cheer each other on. Um, and we can get through this. God is with us. We're not alone. He links arms with us. And so I'm just going to pray right now. Um, that every woman in, at Real Life Church, no matter what their circumstances, is going to feel the tangible presence of God um, in the next couple of days. That's okay. right. Yeah. Yeah. So, Father God, thank you for the beautiful women of Real Life Church. Uh, Father, I just pray right now that they would feel your peace that passes understanding coming into their minds and into their hearts. And, Lord, that everything that they are concerned about, you're concerned about, so they're not alone. You're with them every single step of the way. Give them your wisdom to know how to handle situations and just bless them in this season. Give them a joy that um, is passes their understanding. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. I'm Bethwin. Oh, I'm Rochelle. See ya. <laughs>